Hi guys, it's Rosie here from the channel Roselle. I'm here today with a Sims 4 100 baby challenge video. This is the part one of the series. Um, I'm really excited to do it and if you haven't heard of it before, basically you have to have 100, me 100 children sorry, with 100 men and you have to have no cheats, no mods, and you can't have any um, jobs, so you have to make money solely from um, painting or um, hacking, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to see if I can do it. I think it's going to be pretty hard, but I guess we'll soon find out. Um, and also, if my voice sounds funny, I am sick, I am in bed, um, and I know that's a common excuse, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. And also, if a lot of little um, things pop up, that is because um, this is my first time playing The Sims 4 on this computer. So it thinks that it's my first time ever playing it. So it's going to be telling me how to do stuff. Um, I tried to edit them out as much as I could, but it was a bit of a task. So I do apologize about that. Okay, so... Here I am in create a sim, um, so basically you have to create a female young adult, um, she can have whatever life goals or traits you want, whatever voice, whatever walk, like it's honestly up to you, um, yeah so the only exceptions are she has to be a young adult. So for her goal, I decided to choose the uh, Big Happy Family um, just because she will then get um, the life points from doing the tasks without even trying. And I chose Family Oriented, obviously, because she's going to be having lots of children. And I also chose the trait of Romantic because she's going to be picking up a lot of guys to get her pregnant. And I also chose creative because she's going to need that extra help in making her paintings and stuff like that for money. Um, so here I am making my sim. Um, basically how I made her was just my ideal sim. Um, nothing too special. Also just wanted to put it out there that I'm sorry the microphone is really bad. But unfortunately I'm not a professional YouTuber or anything like that. So I don't have an amazing microphone, it's just the one on my headphones from my iPhone. Um, and also I'm not a, like I'm not a big gamer either. Sims is pretty much the only um, game that I play. So if there is anything wrong with how I'm playing, please let me know so I can fix it. Also, I'm... A big Sims 3 fan so Sims 4 is new to me um, I have almost every Sims 3 expansion pack so I usually go for that one over this just because there's more features on there um, and that's why I'm more advanced in Sims 3 so please let me know if there's anything I'm missing out on and anything I could be doing better so this is the finalized sim um, her name is Belle Matthews and here we go into the game Okay, so I just decided on this world and um, I grabbed the plot right here. Um, it's only $2,000. It's the cheapest one and well, biggest size, so the cheapest amount in the whole game. So I decided to go for that one and it will leave me 18000 to buy whatever um, appliances, decor to build, like anything like that. And yeah, so here's another one of those pop-up tutorial things. It's really annoying, but I'm just going to head into build mode. Yep, <laughs> there it is again. I'll try and edit these out, I promise. And I'm just going to head straight into making the house. Um, I didn't really know what to do with my home 
but I ended up just deciding on making the simplest house I could to save money. Um, it's surprising how quickly they <laughs> it adds up when you're building a house. So I just decided to um, make a um, sort of like an all-rounder house. So it has just the kitchen and a bathroom and then one big living space with the bed, um, study and living and lounge all in the one. Um, as you can hear, see here, I'm kind of struggling to work out what size I want. Um, and I do make a few changes to the house in the future just because um, for money and stuff like that. So I'm just going to build this room and then add a door to the front. I'm just going to che choose the cheapest yet nicest looking door. And at this stage I thought, oh yeah, I can just put everything in this room. But then I realized that you need a bathroom because they don't like having an open bathroom. Um, you'll often get the humiliated um, expression from them. Um, and then I just built this like little wall part for the kitchen to save me spending more money on an extra wall and on a door. And then I just um, got some windows. It took me a while to decide what window I liked just because I wanted to find the cheapest and the most effective. Um, so I ended up going with this window here and then I just popped that around the house um, as sparingly as I could and to let in as much light as possible. Okay, so once I got all the windows in, then I decided on a wall colour and being used to Sims 3, I didn't really know the, my usuals for um, the Sims 4 colours. So it did take me a while to decide on a wall colour, but I eventually just ended up going with a like a white sort of creamy colour and I placed that on the walls of the whole inside of the house. And I, yeah, and then I just picked a colour for the outside, so I just went with a stone um, sort of texture. And then I decided to put a roof on the top. And I'm also going to fast forward the rest of the house making just because I know it can get boring. Um, and yeah, um, so I will see you at the end. So thank you all for watching, um, please like, comment and subscribe for more. Um, I'm sorry this video is very short and it's not very informative, but now that the sim is made and the home is made, um, all the next episodes will be really interesting. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it and please come back soon for the part 2 of the series. Bye!